Hey everybody, it's Dr. Levi. Welcome. I have a lot to share with you today. I want to talk about the value of exercises for your thumb. The thumb is 42% of all functional motion of your hand, so it's so important to maintain its health. I want to show you exercises that are very effective if you're a gamer, if you do extensive amounts of keyboarding, use of a mouse, these exercises will help you tremendously. And they're very simple. These are things you can do right in your office, right in your home. You can do them while you're driving. Very simple and easy to do. Now, they're also effective because I like you to do everything I show you today. The goal is to do three sets of 15 every other day. And the great thing about it, I'll give you enough exercises that you can mix it up. It's not you're going to get bored or tired. You don't want to do that because the great thing about the body, your hand, which is of course a part of your body, will respond to change, dynamic change. It's like, it's like going to the gym. You don't want to go to the gym every day and do the same things. You want to go to the gym and do different exercises every three weeks. When you change things up, your body will change, of course. The same for the strength of your hand. So these exercises that I will show you for your thumb will be very effective, specifically if you have a history of carpal tunnel syndrome, wrist tendonitis, finger tendonitis, hand pain, wrist pain, elbow pain. And also the great thing I want to tell you, if you're doing exercises for your wrist, I want to remind you and for your thumb to always maintain your posture when you're seated at a table or at a desk. Remember, shoulder square, head up, neck relax, not crunched over. That's so very, very important. So let's start with the first exercise. Very simple with no resistance at all. The only thing I'd like you to have for part of the exercises or a few rubber bands. You can have rubber bands at the thickness that your hands can tolerate. So they can be very small like this or they can be thicker. Whatever works for you. So let's get started. The first one we've done before, but I want to show you something different with it. So again, bring your hands together as if you're just twiddling your thumbs. So your thumbs are going to go up and down. Again, everything, three sets, right, of 10 to 15, just up and down. Just like that. I'll do one set of each. So that's just a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want to show you some exercises that you can do with added resistance. You can use rubber bands that you can tolerate, meaning the thickness of the rubber bands will determine how hard the exercises become. So it's very simple. Take the rubber bands, put them right above your joints of the thumb. These are the IP joints of the thumb, the inner phalangeal joints of the thumb. Put them right there. Take your ring fingers. Bring them in like this and then down. Really simple. Now bring your hands together and this up with your thumb. These are called rockers. So you just rock your thumbs up. So and this is extension of your thumb. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, you're going to do 10 to 15 for three sets. The next ones, these are outward bound. Out, 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 two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next, these are the twiddlers here. You just twiddle your thumbs around, just, just like that, just around. But now you have some added resistance. So when you're doing this, make sure you don't bring your thumbs in because when you do that, you lessen the resistance of the rubber bands. We want this to be an exercise. We want you to feel this. So bring your thumbs up and then you take it here. Bring them around, a set of 10 to 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then back, reverse everything, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the next ones, you take your hands slightly apart, about three to four inches. Again, keep tension on the rubber bands. If you take the tension off, the exercise is not as effective. And the other thing I want to add that comes to my mind, and I want to bring this up, is that it's also great to do this if you're a mus musician, if you play the piano or any, any instrument, really, this will also help you because if you're fretting with one hand and using your thumb or even playing chords with the other hand, your thumb is always involved. If you're with, on a piano, for example, you know, this is a C key, for example, C, D, E, F, G, I mean, again, the thumb is always involved. So it's so important to have a healthy thumb, but of course, a healthy hand. So that's uh, five exercises, I believe. Now, again, I want to go through this. So you start here, thumbs apart. Bring your ring fingers in like that. And <laughs> I got a little confused myself, so hold on. <laughs> you take your fingers here, you bring them in like this and down. Really, really simple. All right. so. Uh, let's do the next exercise. I want you to see these two. So take your hands to the side like this 
and now go down touch up touch 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 now keep these fingers your ring fingers together these are these are the fulcums here so you keep them together here just down and up down and up I want you to think about if you're on a at a keypad for example I want you to just think about this but up and down so we'll do a set of ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so what you're doing you bring the thumbs up and over up and over up and over just like that so it's not just down down not just a tap tap motion it's over here so these are overheads all right these are called overheads so over 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 a set of 10 to 15 so that's a total of about six or seven exercises I want to show you a few more so you have the your thumbs apart like this so just use one thumb pulling the side like that just over these are we're going to call these your adductors adduction bringing the thumb back to the hand so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of course to the other side if you have two hands of course I don't say that in jest because there's some people who don't have both hands I see it all the time in medicine all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten again these are adductors a d d u c t o r s adductors the last ones I want to show you are these you're gonna put your hands up straight like that just close your thumbs over like this now you're pulling at the same time these are very simple here we're just going to call these the the swans and the great thing about the swan it will really help your your posture if you do them properly too because you're upright you're not doing them like this our goal here is to keep you healthy and keep you safe so let's do the swans like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten next time bring them down up down up down, up, down, up. These are flies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm hoping and believing that all of the exercise that we just went over will be effective for you, but more importantly, that it will increase your length of your career if you're a gamer, if you do a lot of mousing, use of an iPad, keypad whatever you're doing that's very hand intensive the goal with those exercises is to help you to be healthy and to have an extended career where there's no injury there's no pain and more importantly so you can do what you want to do the hands are so extraordinarily important but especially the thumbs I said before and I want to reiterate if you're a musician if you are a writer if you drive a car for extended periods of time a bus whatever you're using your hands often tremendously. So your thumbs, again, are about 42% of almost of the hand, this one digit. So it's so important that you remember to keep your hands healthy, but definitely your thumb very healthy. So this is Dr. Levi, the gamer's doctor, the esports doctor, and possibly the musician's doctor, here again to let you know that our channel is about bringing you the best in health, the best in health care, and giving you ways that you can actually pr avoid and prevent injuries that's the whole issue here prevention of injuries I want you to do that so please subscribe to our social media platform at the links below hit the red button and subscribe It's Dr. Levi Harrison YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram we're on all of those platforms I look forward to having you as a part of our community because we're here to serve you have a great day bye Another little exercise that I've designed that I think will help you and strengthen your, your thumb and as well as your, your ring finger. So take a look. You just go in and out like this. In and out. In and out. I call this the, the hammock. H-A-M-M-O-C-K. Just a little bonus for you. So if you're looking at the video, I didn't even put this up earlier. Just wanted to surprise you with it and, and thank you for your support of the channel. All right, so these are called hammocks. This will also be great to increase your strength and dexterity in your thumb as well as your ring finger. It's Dr. Levi. A lot more surprises for you soon. Bye.